YouTube, it's your boy Lewis here, aka London Pokemon, and welcome to my channel where we keep it real and you know we keep it 100. Thanks for tuning in to today's video wherever you're watching in the world right now, as it's a pleasure as always to have you all on board for this journey to catch them all. Now guys, in today's pack opening, we're going to be opening up seven booster packs of Brilliant Stars. As you can see on screen right now, we have four loose booster packs as you can see right there. These four booster packs came from a booster box that I got from my local game shop. And then in addition to those four booster packs, we will also be opening up this free pack blister, which comes with the Glaceon promo card. And I purchased this one from my local Sainsbury's. Now guys, before we crack into some of those booster packs, I will be announcing the winner of the giveaway from last Friday's video. Who will be receiving this Astral Radiance free pack blister with the Eevee promo card. So a very nice free pack blister there. Very nice promo card and Drumbo coin that comes with it. And to have been entered into this giveaway, all you had to do was simply be a subscriber to the channel. You needed to like last Friday's video. And lastly, you needed to comment what your favorite pull from that video was. And that was the video where we did pull the Alt Art Origin Form Dialga V. So shortly before filming this video, I used a random comment picker to select the winner. So without further ado, the winner is... Joseph Hobble! Congratulations to you, Joseph, on winning the giveaway. This free pack blister will be coming your way, so congratulations on winning that. You have seven days from the upload of this video to get in touch to claim your prize, and you can do that in two different ways, either contacting me through email, which is in the description of this video, or alternatively, you can hit me up on the London Pokemon Instagram page. Congratulations, like I said, you've got seven days to get in contact, otherwise, if you don't contact me within that time period, I will have to pass the prize on to someone new. So make sure that you contact me ASAP, and we can get that out to you very, very soon. Okay, guys. Let's get stuck into some booster packs today. I think we should get ourselves stuck into the free pack blister first and foremost, the one that comes with the Glaceon promo card. So let's rip this open. Make sure that you have liked this video as well. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe as well. I do up new pack, do upload, sorry, um, new pack openings every Monday and Friday. So make sure you've got all notifications on so that you do not miss a video. Let's start things off with a code card, which I do give away in all of the videos. So good luck to whoever receives that. Let's chuck that to the side as well. Let's get out our Jumbo coin. This time round, we have ourselves a um, Blastoise Jumbo coin, which we can just about see there, a bit of reflection. So nice Jumbo coin there, which will be going into the collection. And this promo card, I'm sure we've seen on the channel a few times before, is the Glaceon promo card. And as you can see at the top there, we do have a little swirl, which is very, very nice, just around about here. Very nice um, promo card there. I know the Evolution promo cards are very popular. As you can see at the bottom left there, it does say SWSH 192. So that is the 192nd promo card of the Sword and Shield era. So we can place that onto one of the easels at the back. I do actually have that one in my collection. So I think in a future video, I will potentially give that away as part of a giveaway. So let's get ourselves stuck into one of the boosters. We, this one comes with two Charizard pack arts as well as a Whimsicott as well. We have to say the Charizard last is kind of like an unwritten rule as we get stuck into our Whimsicott first and foremost. And of course in this set, there are a few Charizards to get and we need all of them. We need the Charizard V as well as the Charizard V alternate art. The Charizard V star is something that we need to get as well as the rainbow version of that as well. Of course that Charizard full art is one that we need to get. And I would also love to hit that Pikachu full art as well. The Arceus alternate art is a lovely card as well. And also the Arceus V star gold card is also a beautiful card. And then we've also got the trainer gallery set as well. Um, so we could potentially get double hitters and we need the Umbrian VMAX as well as the Mimikyu VMAX from that set and also the black and gold Urshifu cards. So let's give you another code card at home. So good luck to whoever receives that. Hopefully that's all coming across on the screen now for you all. So let's chuck that to the side and we'll do four to the front. Like I said, we can get double bangers in this so we can potentially get something from the reverse holo slot as well as the rare slot at the back. As we kickstart this booster pack off with a metal type energy. Moving on into our first card of today's opening, which is a Morgrem. Our next card of today's opening is a Gavite, which is a dragon type Pokemon. Next we have a Staravia, 
Moving on into HM Char, which is a fire type Pokemon. I think Brilliant Stars has to be one of my most favorite um, Sword and Shield era sets, along with Evolving Skies, but Brilliant Stars is definitely, if not first, a very close um, first. So we go on into a Bow Toy, which is a Psychic type Pokemon. Moving on into an Axew, which is another Dragon type Pokemon. After this card, we have a Nose Pass. Moving on into a snow run. Going into our reverse holo slot, I believe it is, potentially a trainer gallery card. We have a bear tick reverse holo, which is an uncommon. Moving on into our rare at the back. Can we get a bit of first pack magic? Our first rare of today's opening is a Haunch Crow V. And we will take that. Haunch Crow V pulled from our first booster pack. The whimsical artwork on that um, uh, booster pack. Haunch Crow V has been pulled, card number 88 out of 172. It's not one that I've got, so happy to be adding that to the collection. So let's get that sleeved up and let's put that onto one of the easels at the back. So nice to get a bit of first pack magic there. Hopefully that is the first of many in today's opening. So let's put it on the middle easel there. And like I said, we've got two Charizard pack arts left to, um, from the free pack blister. So we'll get stuck into one of those next. So let's snip off the top and let's get stuck into this one and let's see what we can pull. So not a bad start there with the Haunch Crow V, not a card that I've got, like I said. So happy to be adding that into the collection. Let's give you another code card at home. So good luck to whoever receives that. And we'll do another four round to the front. One, two, three, and four. Let's have a quick guess of a psychic type energy. Water type this time. We all know that I'm not very good at guessing the energy, to be honest, so I don't know why I try. Let's move on to our first card of this booster pack, though. We move on into a Starmie. Next, we have a Cynthia's Ambition Trainer card. We move into our next card, which is a Sharon's Care Trainer card. Next, we have a Milsery. Clefairy is our next card, once upon a time a fairy type Pokemon. Moving on into our next card, which is a Carablast. Still plenty of cards for me to collect from this set, about 50% of the set to go still. We have a Cherubi, which is next, which is another grass type Pokemon. Moving on into our next one, which is a Sock. Going into our reverse holo of this pack, potentially a trainer gallery card, we have a Cafe Master trainer card, which is an uncommon. Going into our rare at the back of this booster pack, we have a Dragon non holo rare. So that is a dragon type Pokemon, but it's a non holo rare. And it is nothing, that is nothing that will be finding its way onto one of the easels at the back of this, um, at the back of the screen there. So we'll get stuck into our third and final booster pack from the free pack blister. Let's see if we can pull anything from this Brilliant Stars pack. I'm really hoping to try and pull at least one trainer gallery card um, in today's opening. It's been a while since I've pulled any trainer gallery cards really. Not just from um, Brilliant Stars, but also Astral Radiance as well in our recent openings. So let's chuck that to the side. We'll give you another code card at home. Do let us know if you are getting anything good in these code cards. We do give them away in all of the videos. So let us know if you are getting anything cool in those. So we'll do four rounds to the front once again. We won't bother guessing the energy because we know we're not good at that. Water type energy kickstarts things off this time round. We move on into our next card, which is a Morgram. Going on into a Friends in Gala training card. Next, we have a Probo Pass, which is a metal type Pokemon. Next, we have a Nose Pass, which is the pre evolution of that Probo Pass. Going on into a Snow Runt. Next, we have a Clink. Dedene is our card after that. Moving on into a Cub Chew. Next of this opening is a Muffin Reverse Hollow, which is actually a rare, as you can see, you've got the black star at the bottom left of the screen there. So that is actually a rare. So we will take that. Nothing to sleeve up, but it is a rare Reverse Hollow, and it's not a card that I've got. Going into the rare at the back of this booster, we have a Dust Noir Hollow. And we will take that. Dust Noir Hollow pulled from the free pack blister. So overall, not, not a bad um, free pack blister at all. Pulled ourselves a Hollow, um, and we also pulled ourselves that Haunch Crow V. So we'll get that sleeved up. So not a bad hit there. Dust Noir Hollow, not a card 
that I believe I've got. So again, another one that will add into the collection. And we did also get that rare reverse hollow as well. So not too bad at all from the free pack list there. And we've also got that lovely Glaceon promo card. Now we can get ourselves stuck into the four loose booster packs. Let's see how well I've chosen. Remember, I got these from the booster box from my local game shop. So we'll see if I've managed to pick out some of the best ones. So we'll get stuck into the one with the Shaman first and foremost. I think I've got, yep, I've got two Shaman pack arts to come. So we'll get stuck into this one first of all. Really hoping to try and pull a trainer gallery card. And I would love to try and pull at least one more ultra rare from the four remaining booster packs. So let's get this one ripped open. And we'll chuck that to the side. And let's get this out without revealing anything. There we go, another code card for you all at home. Good luck to whoever receives that. And we shall do four rounds to the front once again. One, two, three, and four. Do comment down below what's the best hit that you have got from Brilliant Stars at this time. Um, not entirely sure what my best hit is actually from Brilliant Stars at this moment. I've not pulled any amazing cards so far. Um, but yeah, do let me know what your favorite um, card is that you've got from this set so far. As we kick start this one off with Water Type Energy, we've pulled quite a few of those this um, opening. Going on into a Roseanne's Backup Trainer card. Blunder Policy Trainer card is our next one. Going on into an Executor. Next we have a Sneasel. Our next card of today's opening is a Clink. Moving on into a Spirit Tomb. The one after this is an Axew, which is another Dragon type Pokemon. We're getting quite a few duplicates in today's opening, to be honest with you. Moving on into our next one, which is an Impidimp. Going on into a reverse holo Pachirisu, which is just an uncommon, so nothing from the trainer gallery card, nothing from the trainer gallery slot there. Going into our rare at the back, can we get anything to add to one of the easels at the back? We have a Lipard non holo rare, and that is a rare that I have pulled before, so nothing to even be added into the collection there. So nothing from our first loose booster packs, but we do have three left, and I'm still gonna keep my fingers crossed as we go into the Whimsicott one next. Keep my fingers crossed that we do pull something else to get added to those easels at the back. It'd be great to fill up those last two easels. So let's see what we can get from this one here. Let's give you, oh, kind of showing a little bit off there, but I don't think I gave away what the rare is. So there we go, there's another code card. Let's twist it round and we'll do four rounds to the front. One, two, three, four. We do have the V-Star marker. So we kick, kick start things off with that V-Star marker. Moving on into a float tool. Our next card of the open is a Sigilyph. Going on into a Pachirisu. Next we have a Cast Form. First time seeing that in today's opening. Going on into our next card, which is a Chimchar, which is a fire type Pokemon. Next we have a Bow Toy. Been a while since we've hit something. I'm looking to try and get something from this booster pack. Axu is the next one, probably about the third or fourth time we've pulled that from today's opening. Going on into an Electabuzz, which is obviously an electric type Pokemon. Moving on into a Reverse Hollow Core Fish, which is just a common, so nothing from our trainer gallery slot there. Going into our rare slot at the, slot at the back, let's try and get something. The rare of today's, op of this booster pack, sorry, is, and our creamy non hollow rare. So nothing from that slot there either. It's been a while since we've got anything. We're going for a little bit of a dry period now. We've got two more boosters left. We've got one with the Shaman on it, and as well as the one with the Arceus. We'll be saving the Arceus one for last, but it would really be nice if we could get something now. Nothing from our loose booster pack, so it doesn't look like I've chosen too well. Hopefully we've saved it for our penultimate and our last pack though. So let's get ripped into this one here. We'll chuck that to the side and we'll give you another code card. Good luck to whoever receives that. There we go. Okay, so let's do four rounds to the front. One, two, three, four. Sorry, I just got a little bit distracted by a fly that was in the room there. Okay, but I think I've scared it away. All right, so a fighting type energy is our um, energy for this um, first booster pack, for this booster pack, sorry. Going into a fighting type Pokemon of Hitmontop. Next, we have a Magma Basin trainer card. We are going into a Crawdont. Moving on into a Horlucha. Next card of today's opening is a Buizel. We're going into our next one, which is a Gibble. After this card, we have a Trap Inch, which is another fighting type Pokemon. Next, we have an Execute. Going into our Trainer Gallery slot, we have a reverse hollow muck, which is a rare. Fortunately, it is a rare, but I believe it is a card that we've already got. Can we get something from our rare slot at the back here? We have 
a boss's orders hollow and we will take that it is a card that i've definitely pulled in the past but again it is a hit we'll happily take it it is a hollow card and yeah we will class that as a hit and it fills up at least one of the easels at the back even if it's not one of the best cards in the set or by no means one of the best cards in the set now we have one final booster pack we do have the arceus booster pack let's see if we can get a bit of last pack magic it's been a while since we have been able to pull something from our final booster pack and so far in today's open we've got ourselves two hollows and we've also got ourselves the haunch crow v which kickstarted off things really positively but it's been a bit of a dip since then so can we get something from our final booster pack like i said it's the arceus pack up and let's see if we can get something. There's been no trainer gallery cards yet. It's been an absolute age since I've pulled any of those from any of the sets that do have those. So let's get stuck into this one and let's keep our fingers crossed at home for a bit of Last Pack Magic. So let's chuck that to the side and let's give you a code card at home. There we go, final code card of today's opening. Good luck to whoever receives that. We will do four rounds to the front once again for the final time in today's opening. And we kickstart things off with a fire type energy. Surely that has to be a good sign. Hopefully we can get ourselves a nice fire pool to end this today's opening. We move on into our first card of this booster, which is a double turbo energy card. Moving on into a probo pass. Next we have a Primplup, which is a water type Pokemon. Going on into a Clefairy. Our next card of today's opening is a Cheruby. We go in into our next card, which is a Sock. Next, we have a Corefish. Going on into our next one, which is a Golet, which is another fighting type Pokemon. Moving on into what I believe is our trainer gallery slot, we have, or potentially a trainer gallery slot, we have a reverse holo Impidip. So no trainer gallery card. It's been an absolute age since we've got one of those. When will our time come to get another one of those? Can we get a bit of last pack magic from our rare slot? Our final card of today's opening is a Lapras non holo rare. So nothing from our final booster pack there, just a Lapras um, non holo rare. So nothing to um, shout to the sky that nothing to shout to the skies um, about there so let's have ourselves a quick recap of the cards that we did get from today's opening nothing out of this world um, we did get three hits um, two of those being hollow cards which out of seven boost packs isn't too bad but obviously we are on the hunt for those ultra rares so we didn't get anything out of this world like I said but still got a couple of cards to add to the collection and we did also get that Eevee sorry not Eevee the Eeveelution promo card the one in Glaceon I will probably be giving that away in a future video we also got that boss's orders um, hollow card as well so that is a card that I've already pulled before but still a hit to add to today's total then we also got from today's opening the dust noir hollow which is I'm not sure if it's a card that I've got don't think I do so I'll happily take that and then the best pull from today's video was our Haunch Crow V card, which was got from our first booster pack in today's opening. Not a card that I've got, and that there is our best pull from today's opening, Haunch Crow V. So we'll be adding that into the collection. So not our best ever opening, however, still got a few more cards to add to today's, um, to add to the collection, um, I should say. Um, make sure that you have liked today's video and make sure that you're subscribed to the channel as well. We also have our Instagram page, London Pokemon, so make sure to check that out. We do exclusive giveaways on there as well as polls on there for you to see what you'd like opened up in future videos. We are also on the um, road to 1K subscribers and we are very, very shortly gonna be at 900 subscribers. And I'll tell you now that if we can hit that 900 subscriber mark, by Monday, then we will do a little giveaway in that video as well. So guys, thank you for tuning in to today's video. Make sure you follow um, those steps to help support out the channel. But guys, until next time, keep it real, keep it 100, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.